Welcome to this presentation on soil compaction and practices we can do to help relieve it. In this first part, we're going to specifically talk about the impact of compaction on turf grass. Soil compaction occurs when the percent soil solids and the water holding pores increase while the percent air pores decrease when compared to a non-compacted soil. In this pie chart, we can see the major components that make up a soil and the relative proportion of each. Now taking that same soil previously mentioned and compacting it, we see major changes in the components. Air porosity has decreased from 25 to 15 percent, while the amount of water held increases, as does the solids, which makes sense as you compress the solid particles which are the clays, silts, and sands closer together. Compacted soils are poor growing mediums for turf grass plants and result in detrimental growth, primarily in root growth. Listed here are some of the impact on root growth and activity. Compacted soils result in shallower root systems and impede or slow root growth in the soil. Additionally, single cell appendages that are produced along roots, called root hairs, which account for 90% of water and nutrient absorption for the plant is reduced and the reduction in air pores often means a lack of oxygen present for root respiration. Water and nutrient uptake is an active process by the plants that requires energy produced by root respiration. If not enough oxygen is present, root respiration is greatly reduced. In this picture, a root is growing down through a sand root zone mix. Notice the numerous root hairs coming off the root. As previously mentioned, these root hairs are single cell appendages where the majority of water and nutrients are taken up. In compacted soils, the number of these root hairs is significantly reduced. An observable impact of soil compaction is the poor water infiltration down through the soil. The water ponding on this green is due to soil compaction. Also in this situation, the soil is water saturated and little if any oxygen is present, which will be detrimental to turf grass growth and survival. Here is another situation where soil compaction, along with a few other issues, is causing turf decline and also water to pond. Besides greens and teas, soil compaction can occur on fairways and also in roughs. In this photograph, this compacted area has resulted in decline in the turf. This is a close-up of the previous photograph. A large component of this soil is clay, which is very susceptible to compaction. In this case, this compacted soil is so dry that the actual soil is cracking. Sources of soil compaction on a golf course are basically daily activities that can occur in concentrated areas like on greens. Water droplets can cause compaction. It's most severe on newly established sites, but still a relatively small factor unless combined with other factors like maintenance or golfers. Golfers can cause compaction in concentrated areas. Walking a golf course you can accumulate 13,000 steps and even with a cart you will get 6,000 steps. Compaction can be caused by vehicles like golf carts. I thought this golf cart picture was more interesting than this one. Maintenance equipment used daily can cause compaction. I thought in this photograph I would stay with the previous idea of showing an unusual picture. Or maybe like this one. But from this picture taken at the 2007 United States Open, and get an idea of the foot and vehicle traffic that can occur, especially on a putting green. This concludes part one of this presentation on soil compaction and how to relieve it.